Hello, my name is Jan Thielemann and today I want to show you how you prepare the development environment so you can develop for Olympia. First, you need to install some software and um, mm. the tools you need are Mercurial, Eclipse and a database server of your choice. You can use Postgres or Oracle. So, if you're using a Unix system, you can install most of these tools um, via apt. So, I'm using Ubuntu 14.04 uh, <coughs> and I can install these tools using apt-get install Mercurial, Eclipse, PostgreSQL 9.3 and here you need some additional tools and they are called PostgreSQL common and PostgreSQL contrib 9.3 because I'm using the PostgreSQL 9.3 database. So after you installed these tools, which I already did, you can start um, Eclipse and then you, what you also have to do is to clone the IDMPR project via Mercurial. To do this, go to Bitbucket, copy this um, URL. Go to your workspace and type in hg clone and paste the URL. So this will clone the source code for item here. As you can see, I already did this. The next step you have to do is to create a new directory in this folder and call it target platform. I already did it. So after you have um, installed um, these tools and cloned the repository, created the target platform, um, you have to configure your Postgres database. And to do this, you go on a Unix system to etc, PostgreSQL, and here are two files you have to modify. The first one is the PG HBA configuration and what I like to do is to trust my local computer and also trust everybody from my local network so that co-workers can access databases on my computer. The second file <coughs> you want to modify is the PostgreSQL conf and here I put the star in the listen address, so it listens for every IP addresses. The next thing is to create a new role for, um, yeah, for item here and a new database. To do this I type in sudo zoo postgres. The postgres user um, will be created automatically when you install postgres. And now I use this command here to create a new role. And as you see, the role already exists. The next command I execute is the create db command to create a new database called item here. And as you see, this database already exists on my computer. Then I use this command to alter the search path for the Adam Pierre role on the Adam Pierre database. And then uh, I execute this command so um, I, I got this function to create unique IDs. 
which also already exists. Then I have to import the database. So I go to my um, idempia repository, and there's a directory called org, idempia, server feature, data, seed, Here I have different seeds. The Adempia MPG jar is the seed for Postgres 9 and upwards. This is for Postgres 8. And this seed here is for Oracle databases. So I unzip the Adempia MPG dot jar and um, then I get this dump file, which I then can import into the database by typing psql minus u for the user or the role name item pier minus d for the database which I call item pier and minus f for the file I want to import. So this will take some time and I'll see you in a second. So as you can see now, the import of the database finished. Now I have to migrate it, so all the latest changes get um, applied to the um, database. To do this, I go to my item PR, um directory, and here's a directory called migration, <coughs> which contains all the migration scripts. So now I will apply the migration scripts for the um, 2.0 release, which I do with the script provided in this directory called migrate postgresql. And here I have to add, uh, enter some parameters. The first parameter is the directory I want to migrate, which contains the migration scripts. And the second one is commit. Now I pipe this. And here I use the psql command. So um, the migration scripts will apply to my database. This will take some time. And while I'm migrating, I can now start configuring my Eclipse. So when you start Eclipse, there's one important thing. You have to select the item Pierre repository as the workspace. And when you start Eclipse, um, don't be afraid. The project explorer will be empty at first. Now here's something important. You have to check your Eclipse version because we need to install some software and we have to use the same version for this software as our Eclipse version. And as you see here, my Eclipse platform is 4.3. So now I install the new software, which is called Buckminster. And you can um, download this, it on this page. And here you have to enter the version number for your Eclipse version. So if you use 4.2, you have to use the 4.2 update site. And in my case, I use 4.3, so I use the 4.3 update site. Um, here you have to install the core, the Maven support, and the PDE support plugin. And another useful um, tool I always use is Mercurial Eclipse, which you can download here. And here you install the Mercurial Eclipse plugin. And what this is, is it's a graphical user interface for Mercurial you can use from within Eclipse. It will provide you with this team menu where you have all the Mercurial commands. So after you finish the installation, you have to set up your target platform. <coughs> and you do this by clicking on Preferences, Plugin Development, Target Platform. 
on the first start it um, will be empty so you click on that select nothing start with an empty target definition provide a name like item here for example and add a new location choose directory and then browse to the target platform directory you created or you can use um, a variable workspace log which is the current workspace and then the target platform directory here um, this will be empty but since I already materialized the project I now have 172 plugins in it so click on finish and select the newly created target platform and make it active after you did this you go to file import here you select Buckminster and materialize from Buckminster browse and go to your item pier and here you will select the org item pier SDK feature and materialize from the item pier mspec after the materialize process finished you will see the um, project explorer and the last thing you have to do is to run the setup which you can find in the Eclipse application and it's called install console app what this process does is it will create a property file um, which item pair needs so it can start and you have to provide some information um, for example the other home path the item pair home path with it, which is the path to our item pair repository um, you can set the password for the key store but on my development environment I don't really need this so I use the default password um, here you enter your computer name a web port and yes we already have a database of type Postgres the Postgres server is running on my machine otherwise you would have to enter the name of the machine on uh, which your PostgreSQL server is running uh, I have the default port my database is now named item here my user is item here and uh, you have to enter mail server otherwise the uh, setup won't finish but you can enter whatever you want here and save your changes as you see, it created a property files for me. So that's it, and the migration finished, and now you can start the server or the swing client by running either the server product or the swing client product.